Hello, welcome to another Tonalist Landscape Oil Painting Demonstration. This is your painter in residence, M. Francis McCarthy, and I'm bringing you another redo today. Nice little painting though, and it wasn't, it wasn't really um, too bad before I started, but you're going to see I really improved it. Uh, first thing I did, of course, was hit it with a sort of um, transparent glaze. And then I uh, decided to do a little glazing with black on the bottom, a little glazing with black on the top. So already we're creating some stronger contrast and moving the eye towards the, uh, the center of the painting more so. Um, this scene is a scene I've painted many, many times actually. Uh, well, many, many times. First painted it as a, um, I think I did a little study actually back in 2011 or so. And then I did a 12 by 12 and uh, the 12 by 12 is still in my living room. And, um, oh, I've done it as a six by nine. I've done it as, uh. A little five by five I'm pretty sure um, this 12 by 12 and then of course I've done it as an 8 by 10 <laughs> I just love this scene and actually I got the original photo uh, that I've used for reference uh, for my very first trip out here to New Zealand uh, when my uh, well now she's my wife at the time she was just my um, you know partner and uh, uh, we were driving around and, uh, you know, taking reference photos and, uh, came across this scene in our journeys and, uh, it was one of the first ones that I, I'd done as a painting when I first moved out to New Zealand. So, uh, it's got a bit of history and, uh, I just think it's a kind of a strong little motif. You've got a good balance with the, the tree that's off center. A little river or stream off to um, what would be our right side and then you know some little mountains in the distance and um, I don't know I think it works real well I've so well in fact that I've just recently done it as a three and a half by three and a half um, each one looks very different and I have to say the three and a half by three and a half was one I was thinking of sharing today and then but I've been working through the uh, the redo uh, folder that, uh, as I've mentioned in many of these redos uh, videos, that uh, you know I've, I did a whole ton of these in, back in September, and uh, just want to get them out and uh, uh, get through them. And um, one of the reasons why I kind of you know this is a middle of the week uh, video, and those I tend to try and make shorter. Uh, I like to spend a little more time on my new originals, uh, and usually I do that over the weekend. So I've got um, I've got a couple really nice paintings I'm I'm going to get ready to share over the weekend, and of course uh, tomorrow we're going to do the uh, Past Masters uh, series. Uh, I don't know who, but it'll be good. It'll be good. Um, anyway, today is Friday out here in New Zealand. It's February 16th and uh, I've been in the studio. I didn't do any painting today. I actually was cleaning my studio. I had cobwebs everywhere and lots of, uh, we get lots of what's called metal rock out here. A lot of these roads out in New Zealand are not paved with, um, with pavement. They have, uh, like a rock base, a metal rock is what they call it. And, uh, Oh, we have this stuff all over the uh, Quarry Art Center where I work, and uh, I swear tons of it ends up getting into my studio. So every now and again, I've got to get in there and uh, vacuum the place, clean it out a little bit, make it presentable. And, uh, you know, for the lovely guests that come to see me at the Quarry Art Center, uh, I don't think very many of them come specifically to see me, but I'm there for them when they show up. And, uh, always happy to talk with people and visit and if you ever find yourself in New Zealand make sure you head up to Northland and uh, I am in Whangarei and I would be happy to see you yeah uh, but uh, I've got a painting uh, I've got some colors mixed for a little painting I want to do uh, this afternoon three and a half by five and um, uh, we'll be getting into that that's uh, also going to be a scene I've done before but uh, this time I've decided to interpret the scene in blues and you know a lot of people uh, don't really get the uh, revisiting of scenes but 
the fact of the matter is, is that what I'm really painting is emotions channeled through my perceptions as a unique individual uh, human being so because I'm always changing and progressing and um, hopefully progressing uh, it's always going to be a different thing so uh, to me the scene itself is a framework for what I do it's not the the subject is not the reason uh, there's been a million paintings of landscapes done over the last hundreds of years that we've had Western civilization Anyway, see, we're close to the end here. Thank you so much for joining me today. And uh, please come back tomorrow for Past Masters. Uh, meanwhile, take good care and stay out of trouble.